All right, welcome back to this last segment of the video. Uh, we are going to do number six. Ray has two more pens than Jack. They have a total of 36 pens. How many pens does Jack have? Does Jack have? Okay. Now, we don't know what how many pens Ray have. We don't even know what how many pens Jack have. But all we do know is that whatever the number of pens that Jack has, Ray has two more pens than whatever Jack has. In mathematics, whatever we don't know, we just assign a variable. That is what we do. Okay? Now, we do know that whatever that Jack has, Ray has two more pens than it has. So, let's just say that, let the number of pens let the number of pens that Jack has be x. You just assign a variable. We don't know. But we do know that whatever, men, whatever the number of pens that Jack has, Ray has two more. So if Jack has four pens, Ray has six pens. If Jack has ten pens, Ray will have twelve pens. So if Jack has x, because you kept on adding two, so, if Jack has x pens, Ray will have x plus 2 pens. So, the number of pens that Ray has will now be x plus 2. Okay? And then, they now told us they have a total of 36 pens. Altogether, they have a total of 36 pens. So, that means that x Whatever the number of pens that Jack has, plus x plus 2, whatever the number of pens that Ray has, will give us what? 36. So this is the linear equation. You just solve it like a linear equation. Variable, variable, constant, constant. You move the constant to the other side. Okay? x plus x will give us 36 minus 2. So 2x will give us 34. And then you divide both sides by 2 which is 34 over 2, and x will be 17. So, Jack has 17 pens, 17 pens. So, Jack has 17 pens, and Ray will have 19 pens. 17 pens, and Ray will now have 17 plus 2, which is 19 pens. Now, some of you might be confused on the way I did this, maybe because you have not watched my video on linear equations. Now, this is a way that maybe your teacher does it. I will show it to you. Maybe your teacher does this, minus 2, minus 2. And it gives us x plus x will now be 34. And then you now do 2x equal to 34. And then you divide both sides by 2. And x will be 17. Whatever way is fine, that's fine. Thank you for listening, students. You have a great day. Thank you.